What's up YouTube, PJ back with another video for y'all and it feels like I have not recorded a video for the vlog in a long time due to this whole pandemic that we have going on but uh, I hope all y'all are being safe and practicing y'all's safety and just being good at the hygienic things but uh, just wash your hands and make sure you don't breathe in like around people who are sick or coughing or sneezing or if you don't know anything about them then just stay around them you know we're supposed to be social distancing even though some of y'all aren't but uh, I'm not gonna talk too much about that but anyways we have another video today on the Miata and as you can see the car still looks pretty bad <laughs> actually <laughs> look at the roof I need to do something with this pretty soon uh, if I don't get another one then I'll just you know plastic dip it black or something I might record that for y'all if you would like to see that then let me know in the comment section by the way and then I need to get another trunk as well because somebody just decided to bump into the back of it this is before i got it previous owner but i don't know how it didn't break this brake light but as you can see it looks like they hit something like this i don't know if you have anything or if you know anything that may have done that then you could also let me know that but we are about to try to get these brake calipers painted and i have a few lug locks on here but i don't have the key so i'm gonna try to show y'all a little trick on how i'm gonna break this thing. well not break it but you know get it off of there do not and i repeat do not try to do this on random people's vehicle i don't contone stealing so don't try to do that but this should work at least what i'm thinking So obviously this is not gonna work if I can't get those lugs lock, lug locks off. So uh, we're about to try to get those off right quick. And what I'm gonna do is I have my toolbox right here. Don't mind that I just didn't put it all back up last time I used it. But we are gonna grab one of these 12 star sockets and try to pry it on there or force it on there and then try to get it off like that hopefully this works but if not then I just can't do this today this is the color I decided to go with burnt metallic orange and I think it's gonna look good on this green car look at it y'all can't see it I think it's gonna look good though this burnt metallic orange bro why it gotta be so windy alright hopefully this works like it's on there to me. Oh. <laughs> I don't think I had it on there enough. But I think it does work. <laughs> it actually worked. <laughs> All right, look. I got the lug lock. And in order to get it out, I think what I'm gonna have to do is just get a bolt and like hit it on this and try to get it out like that. Hopefully that works. And just like that, I got the three wheel locks or uh, lug locks off the car. If you plan on using them, I wouldn't advise doing this method, but I used a bolt that I'm never gonna use again, and it's kinda torn up. I don't know if y'all can see that good, but uh, and a socket, the socket is in pretty good shape. Yeah, it's still usable, like very good. And that's because the socket is usually um, forged or either made out of a harder metal than whatever the socket goes on to, so it can just dig up into these and won't let, it, won't let anything happen. The more you know. I just went on ahead and took the tires off. As you can see, look how little they are. They're so little. 
But yeah, I just took the tires off. And as you can see, yeah, these things don't look like they've ever been changed, to be honest with you. And look at the brake pads. They're even like chipping and they just look so nasty. But we're about to go ahead and fix that. And like I said before, I do have new lugs. But what I didn't tell y'all is I also have new rotors and I have new pads. So when I'm doing this, I don't expect y'all to follow me to the T on how I'm going to do it. Because I'm literally just going to cover all of this up. And then I'm going to tape off like the little rubber they have right here. The little bolts, like that kind of stuff. I'm just going to tape that stuff off. And I'm just going to clean and spray away at this thing. And, oh, here's the color in the car. Just for y'all who didn't really see the contrast. I think it's gonna look pretty good. I didn't want to go with gold because I already had gold on my other green Genesis, which was like a lime green, and this one's like a foresty green. And so I wanted to go with a, a less loud color, so I went with burnt orange. And I think it's gonna look well. I think it is. So let me go ahead and get started with cleaning this, and then I'll just mask it all off. To be honest with y'all, this is the part where y'all grill me in the comment section and y'all stop following what I'm doing and just watch for entertainment. Cause look at this, look, look at this. I got a trash bag some kind of way in here and remind you before you get on me, I do have new rotors and I do have new pads. The whole thing is just to tape off some of the black on here that will be shown and spray paint the caliper. That's it. We're not trying to get paint on anything else around there. I don't care if paint gets on the rotor. I don't care if paint gets on the pad. Just letting y'all know beforehand. So, hey, let me go ahead and start spraying this and then I'm gonna start with the other side. I probably should have recorded the first coat. Uh, I don't see any drippage. At least I don't think I do. But I did do it light enough to where there wouldn't be any. But I feel like this color is going to contrast very nicely with the car. Look at this. Kind of. <laughs> kind of. Bro, I'm laughing at this bag just sitting right here. But I'm about to go ahead and do the other side. And then I'll bring out the rotors and stuff so y'all don't think I'm lying. And now, I've had these for the longest. But I'm finally about to open them. Ready to see what they look like, actually. Oh, and for the paint. I actually only put two coats on there because they look plenty good with two coats and y'all will see in a second. But I'm about to go ahead and open these new rotors of mine. I've actually never purchased, ooh. Yeah, look at this. Look at this, front passenger side. Look at that. Little Miata rotors right there. Little Miata. They look good. They gonna look good on the car. Woo. I can't wait to put them on. And, oh yeah. And here are the pads. So I got Z16 ceramic pads and zinc plated or zinc infused or something like that. Some dealing with zinc but drilled and slotted rotors. And so now I'm gonna wait for the paint to dry a little bit and then I'll be installing these. Give y'all a little closer look on them. Look at them though. Oh, they gonna look so good. <laughs> they gonna look so good. And hopefully these things, oh, and here's the paint by the way. But hopefully these things stop a lot better whenever I put the new brake pads and rotors on there and get them bedded in and seated in well. This is actually gonna be my first car that I've actually changed the rotors and pads on. I think I did change two of the pads and all of the rotors not to drill and slide it on my Mustang. But 
yeah these are gonna look good and there's one other thing that i did not tell y'all about and i know i'm keeping a lot of secrets these days but hey but i'm gonna save that for another video i am gonna tease y'all a little bit and show y'all a little bit of it but i'm gonna save that for another video I ended up having to go inside and put a jacket on because out of nowhere it literally just went from like 70 something degrees to 50 degrees but uh i'm sure y'all hear mike in the background he just came over here to drop something off to me him and the infamous lupra but they about to leave because it looks like it's about to rain out here so i'm about to hurry up and get this all done i took the bags off and as you can see the overspray like i said but i do have the rotors that i'm about to put on now and those of y'all who don't know actually don't worry about this either but you have to take this off and then there's another bolt down lower that you take off to get the caliper off so i'm about to do that and i'm going to get my bucket to sit these on top of on top of these bags that i was using so it doesn't mess it up because i know the paint is still soft right now it hasn't cured but we're gonna get this thing on the road. So let me go and grab my bucket. Bucket. Look, what this man doing? This sounds good though. We got my bucket. things look nice and spiffy all right finally fresh caliper paint check new rotors check new brake pads check the miata is starting to come together quite nicely i only did the fronts today i only did the fronts but i will be doing the backs off camera just because it is getting kind of late out here and the clouds have rolled over to over there so it's looking quite nice out here i'm about to go ahead and wrap up this video I do need to put the wheels back on and I do have new lugs like I said but oh yeah I do need to go get those by the way so I can go ahead and put everything back together but this just about wraps up today's video this is all I have for y'all if you like the video go ahead and give it a thumbs up and comment down in the section below and let me know how y'all like this new look that Dexter has I like it a lot I mean I think the orange the burnt orange goes great with the green and i think it gives it a nice contrast i'm glad i didn't go with gold because the gold would pop a little bit too much for this dark color of green at least in my opinion it would share this video with anybody you think will be interested in my channel and if you aren't subscribed to the channel go ahead and subscribe i mean why not stick around you can see all the good stuff i'm doing with dexter if you don't know i do have a 2014 genesis 3.8 that i do mod hopefully y'all saw the last video i put out and if not then you can check the card at the top of the screen right now because uh we have some things going along with that car right now and i don't really want to talk about that because it's almost over it's almost over that roller roller coaster is almost over like i did tell y'all before this video ends i do have one last thing just one last thing i want to show y'all i'm thinking these are gonna complete the look that i'm going for